actress Shannon Elizabeth is joining me in studio along with Charles Summerfield from Rhino Savers. These two are working on a very special project to help animal conservation in South Africa and they're here to tell us all about. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, Hi, thanks. how are you doing? How are you too? Good, good. Good. Happy Great. birthday. Thank you. So you're spending your birthday here in South Africa working yes. on, on a project that's very near and dear to your heart. Why yeah. don't you tell us about why you're doing it now and why, why you've come over your birthday month especially to do it? Well, I mean, when I, I've never been big on birthdays and um, I was trying to think about what I really wanted to do this year. What, what is big to me and what is important? And I've been trying to think of a way to revamp my organization, Animal Avengers, and it's a charity I started in 2001. And I started getting involved in conservation, and I couldn't think of a better. So excited about raising these funds, taking them overseas, and putting them to work for the animals in a real rhino foundation. I'm having Animal Avengers collect the funds, and then when I go over there, I'm going to buy whatever the organizations need with the funds that are raised. Funds, and we're going to keep going and try to raise more now. Why we do this whole project for the next month? Well, South Africa is very excited to have you here. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy to be here. You have no idea. Charles, how did you meet Shannon? Uh, it would be cliched, but I guess online. <laughs> On Instagram. <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 We had some mutual friends, but yeah. that's, I mean, that's how I learned about conservation. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize what was happening with the animals that are endangered and the poaching until I started really getting involved in what Instagram was and seeing the photos and mm -hmm. some other conservationists had reached out to me. And I just started asking a lot of questions and going to some local events in New York and meeting a lot of people in like a lot of organizations in this world. Yeah. And uh, I just kept asking questions. Wow. And here I am. Tell, tell us about Rhino Savers. Okay, Rhino Savers is the voice mm -hmm. of all our animals, just being, using the rhinos as the, as the starting point because they're so highly endangered and at such a critical level of extinction that we need to do something. But it's not just about rhinos, it's about all of our animals, it's actually about our planet, which then leads us to the social problems as well. It's all linked, yeah. it's all related, and it needs to be addressed now, which is fantastic that we have found the voice of Shannon Elizabeth to come and help be the voice of the voiceless. Shannon, I know you have Animal Avengers under your belt, but have you always been so passionate about animals and conservation? Yeah, well, I've always been passionate about animals. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember when I was really young, we would drive along, and my dad would be driving, and I'd I'd start screaming, and he'd swear, he'd be like, what, what? I'm like, there's a dead animal at the road, and mm -hmm. I'd start freaking out. And so, I mean, it was just, I, I was born this way. Like, I love animals, and there's just something about them needing us, and all of the problems that they're having right now are because of us. It's not nature. Their issues are not each other. It's us. So if we got them into this, we have to get them out, and that's it. Now, the fundraiser that you're working on is for 30 days. It was for 30 okay. days, and then as it was wrapping up, right when I got here, I got an email saying we could extend. Okay. And so we decided, because one of the organizations that we're helping, it has to do with water pumps in Zimbabwe and giving water to 40,000 elephants that started out being 5,000 elephants. So the water pumps have run dry, and we, we both got desperate calls saying they need water now. So we supplied them with some diesel to get water now. But I'm like, look, this is just a Band-Aid for the problem. How do we solve it? Mm -hmm. And so some pumps had been converted to solar. And I had a friend that wants to be involved with that and donated a large sum. And he and I, all of us, are doing one pump like in our name as one solar pump in our name. And so we've started this thing where you can get a solar pump in your name. Your name would be at the front of the park and you can put a camera on your pump and you can see the animals drinking and you can see the good it's doing. So we're trying to raise more and it's about 15,000 US dollars wow. to do to convert or build a new solar pump and they have to bring somebody in to do new boreholes and all this stuff. So we've committed to one and we wanted to extend the fundraiser to try to do more and try to get the word out there more so people can have their own pump for the rest of their lives. And on my site, on Animal Avengers, when I'm rebuilding that site, what I want to do is anyone who does have a pump in their name will have a donate button because there will still be some diesel needed. So then people can choose, I want to give diesel to your pump, your pump, this pump, that pump, 
And it can just be this ongoing thing to try to keep up the water in that area because with the drought going on right now, they desperately need it.